violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Welcome into WMAR 2 News at 6. Thanks for watching and streaming us. I'm Kelly Swoop. Jamie Costello has the night off. She has five children, 18 grandchildren, and 63 great-grandchildren. And for the first time, one of them is a victim of Baltimore's gun violence. 19-year-old mm. Deontay Edwards was murdered on Oliver Street Saturday morning. Tonight, his great-grandmother shares her message for those engaging in gun violence with WMER 2 News' Kendall Green. Just one step into Cecilia Ringgold's room will show you just how much she loves and values her family. And one of those in her gallery of grands, no longer with her today. They called him D, short for Deontay Edwards. So we got a 19-year-old brother who was taken out of the family tree. Um, as I said, guys, this type of stuff is happening every single day in these major cities. I mean, it's so crazy and it's not slowing down at all. It's only just begun, it feels like. It's heating up in the community. I mean, I've got stories for days. I'm backed up on, on stories. I'm trying to churn the content out. YouTube's still limiting the message, but we're doing what we can. But it's tough, y'all. Live with me. I raised him up under me. He under this wing. You understand? And this ain't no little, little teeny wing. It's a strong wing. A strong wing, she says, has endured nearly everything but gun violence until Saturday morning. D is around there on the ground one block from my house, and I'm running down there 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning and see him on the ground. That's the peaceful I've seen him in a while. Ringo is well aware of Baltimore City's struggle with gun violence, claiming the lives of more than 200 victims so far this year. I see it on TV, I hear it every day, but it don't hit you to the happen to you. They yeah, and I mean, it, it appears that she's come to terms. I mean, she said when he was laid out there, deleted, that was the most peaceful that she'd seen him in a long time. So, you know, it a, a lot of these grandmamas and we we call them grand ninjas, like these young these young teens who are raised by their grandparents, you know, grandma, even though she says she got a strong wing, she just can't inflict that type of discipline and structure in the young man's life that he needs um, to be productive. And it seems that she probably already knew that he was in trouble and had already made peace with it. At least that's what her demeanor is giving me. And it hit you. She called D an ambitious go-getter, selling water at times, washing cars on others. But it's a lifestyle she's hoping his peers can somehow avoid. So she said selling uh, or, or um, selling water. So he was a water boy. What I tell you about the water boys, water boys by day, jack boys by night. Did he rob the wrong people? I mean, at the memorial, they got wine. I mean, I've. I've never really seen wine bottle memorials before, but I, I, I don't think that could be good for the environment at all. Just sitting glass wine bottles out there. But, you know, however you got to mourn, however you got to grieve, it is what it is. But, man, it just seems like same story, different day. Offering this advice to young men in her neighborhood. Stay from them corners. You know, get a job. Do something positive for yourself. Because, you know D, he make a dollar. But look, the dollar ain't doing him no good. As one should. Yeah, so there you have it. She knew he was in trouble. She said, you know D, he make a dollar, but the dollar ain't doing him no good. And it didn't at the end of the day. I don't know what type of stuff this brother Deontay got messed up in, but... Damn, I mean, it's just it's just sad, but he should have been watching my channel because he would have known 
that these super gremlins are on demon time. Shooting leads to another response. Ringo pleads to Deontay's countless friends and family members not to make Deontay's death the start of just another cycle of violence. Let God fight our battles. I ask you to do that. I ask all of y'all to do it. Every one of y'all. Let God fight our battles. So when you retaliate, you be more hurt. The family hurt more than the person that's laying there. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News. You know, to make sure our victims are remembered, we're putting the focus on each of those who've lost their lives to violence in Baltimore this year. Take a look at this right here. We have created a special gallery with their names and faces. Find it at WMER2news.com slash not just a number. Yo, what's good, BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey, and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said, I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe, hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long-term commitment to the Jinquadius Jackson Fund, join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble, where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga did Quavius? Yo, I recognize No, that's Chris not me no more. Hey, yo, run your property. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? Atlanta police are investigating after they found a man dead in a neighbor's yard. They say it all started with a shooting at a gas station on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Wow, so they found a man dead in the neighbor's yard after a shooting at the gas station on what? Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I need a soundboard because the community is showing a behind on MLK. I mean, just a disgrace to what brother Dr. King, rather, all the work that he put in. And, you know, this is how the community is repaying him. I mean, it's sickening. In Southwest Atlanta. Channel 2's Audrey Washington's live on Gordon Terrace. And Audrey, witnesses were able to tell police how this all unfolded. Right, and there were plenty of witnesses around, according to police. The actual shooting happened at this Shell gas station right here. It appears the victim then took off and collapsed and died right here at this home across the street. <laughs> Family and friends in complete shock after learning what happened to their loved one at this Shell gas station Wednesday morning. I'm just not prepared for this. According to Atlanta police, shortly before 7.30 a.m., they got a call about a person shot along Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in southwest Atlanta. When they arrived, they found a man dead in the yard of this home on Gordon Terrace. Damn. He was brought out family. <laughs> This woman asked me not use her name for this report, but she said the victim is her granddaughter's boyfriend. Mm. She says she just spoke with him a few days ago. I mean, what's going on here? Was he was he the one hitting the lick? I mean, I'm trying to figure out may, maybe it was a robbery gone wrong or maybe they just saw their ops at the gas station. He was shooting. He was busting. They was busting back and. He became a casualty. I mean, oh, whew, man, I mean, it's just overwhelming at this point. Right now, we are still working to confirm more details, but witnesses at the scene said there was an argument and then a shootout between several people at the gas station. Police are looking through surveillance video in the area and speaking with witnesses. As for this grieving family friend, she says she just cannot believe she has to now call other friends and family 
with the devastating news. He was like, he's my son. And police told me they are actively searching for the shooter or shooters involved. As for those family friends we spoke with today, they actually told me the name of the victim, but we are withholding that name until the next of kin is notified. And we are live here in Southwest Atlanta. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action. This is brand new video of a fourth suspect just arrested and taken into custody in that deadly Sweet 16 party shooting mm. in Douglas County. Tonight, new details about how a gang may have been involved in what led up to the deaths of two teenagers. Good evening, I'm Alan Devlin. And I'm Savannah Louie. We want to get, she go. get right to Atlanta News first. Megan Packer, she is live for us at Douglas County Sheriff's Office west of Atlanta. And Megan, you were there right as that teenager was taken inside. And Savannah, he was surrounded by the sheriff and a team of investigators who have been working this case nonstop. Well, well, well. So we do have some of the perpetrators of um, the, the mass shooting in Doug Douglasville that I had reported on just last week. We They got four guys in custody. They're saying that it was gang related. This um, shootout resulted in the death of two teens, one male, one female. And I mean, at one point, the, the, the police, the authorities, they said they didn't have any leads. But I'm glad that they were able to make some arrests in this case. I can tell you as this community looks for answers about this devastating shooting, we are learning more about the tipster. Uh, we're learning that the tipsters who did come forward in this case don't even want their reward money. Wow. So, I mean, how valiant the tipsters don't want their reward money. They just want justice. So it does look like the community speaking up after all or i don't know actually who you know <laughs> said something but obviously they probably had intimate knowledge of the situation our atlanta news first camera was rolling for a moment investigators and victims families have been waiting to see 17 year old kingston cotman was led into the douglas county sheriff's office in handcuffs how you doing sheriff tim pounds <laughs> making a point to personally walk the suspect inside do you have a comment? Anything you'd like to say? Silence from Cotman. Bro, these dudes be, I mean, I guess I, th that is the right thing. You got the right to remain silent. Um, but it's just like all the, all the street gang stuff, it just goes out the window when they, when they get them handcuffs slapped on them. The fourth and latest team to be arrested in connection to a deadly shooting outside a Sweet 16 birthday party from earlier this month. The sheriff's office also arrested 17 year old twin brothers Chase and Chance McDowell, who attend New Manchester High School, and 18 year old Timothy Coleman. It was all gang related. Dang. Maybe gang retaliation. But the sheriff stopped short of saying which gang or what or who the target was. I ain't gonna give him no air time. I ain't gonna decorate him on air. He says the two teens killed and seven injured were all innocent bystanders. He showed this gun he says was confiscated at the time of Coleman's arrest in Cobb County. I looked them dead in their face. They looked me in my face kind of, but they, they head was kind of down. Chanel mm. White buried her daughter, 14 year old Asian A. Hill days ago, but was in court to see the suspects this morning. It is definitely a sad situation um, and they are so young. And they done threw their life away. I mean, I I get what she's saying, but it's it, it's not sad for them. It's justice for them. It's it's sad for your daughter. You know. I mean, it almost felt like they like she had empathy for the people who took her daughter's life and. I think that attitude is detrimental to getting the results that we need in the community. Now, hopefully we are able to get justice out of this situation, but the work has only begun. These guys, they, they all they did was get arrested. The trial hasn't come out. Nobody's testified yet. I'm sure they'll roll on each other, but mm, I just kind of expected more.
The family of 15-year-old Samuel Moon, who was also killed, is grappling with the motions of burying a young loved one and seeking justice. Every day it's different. Every day um, it's a new layer of, of feelings, of emotions, and trying to understand why, which is the big question. And the answer to that why, unfortunately, is the super gremlins are on demon time. And these four suspects are facing a list of charges, including malice murder, aggravated assault, and aggravated battery. The sheriff tells us gang-related charges are pending. We are live outside of the sheriff's office in Douglasville. I'm Megan Packer, Atlanta News First. Megan, thank you. Gang violence and other kind of violence.